Right, we're here today in Angel Islington. We've been uh, showing the uh, net zero yellow boards to the traffic and getting some support, as you can hear, and to the pedestrians who are a bit mixed. They seem to be a little more against us, I would say, today in this area. Um, but it's interesting, we, we've been... Um, what, what I'd like to speak about today is, is, is the idea of net zero and how in, in the, the, the European tradition, um, it comes from like the Christian tradition, and the Christian tradition make, has the idea that every life is precious, every life is sacred, and, uh, and, and so w one of the things that has come out of that is a le legislative system which preserves the right of the individual, and what we've been asked to do all the time is to override the rights of the individual for the rights of the collective. And they'll say it's for the greater good. And one of the arguments they make is that net zero is for the greater good for maybe children with asthma, or maybe for the, uh, they tell us that the planet is warming up. Now, you can look into the scientific element of that yourself, but all the time we've been asked to believe about this greater good thing. And there's a guy called Yuval Noah Harari, who's like uh, the, the, the mouthpiece for the World Economic Forum, who are espousing some of these ideas. And, and he basically promises what, what, what equates to like the three promises of the serpent in the Garden of Eden, if you like, where you go, with transhumanism, you're going to live forever, you're going to have uh, your health, uh, knowledge, and you can be as gods. And he's always referencing things like um, how there'll be no more free will and the, 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 how almost like they're competing with God, which is a very strange thing. But I think some of this ideology is based on something more than science that, that's being imposed upon us because they always make reference to it themselves it doesn't matter what you or i believe but in, in the end what we have is, is documents from the government that tell us that they're, they're going to increase they're going to um restrict air travel car travel travel within the country fuel consumption food consumption even so whether you eat meat or not and calorie consumption so this is what they're actually doing regardless of what the philosophy is behind it but the philosophy behind it is also somewhat sinister so those are just some things I'd like to make you aware of and um, that's all from Angel today in London.